welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my after period hygiene self-care routine okay so we're gonna first start off by filling up our water bottle i love this one it pretty much is like a reminder to keep drinking water and you definitely want to drink it while you're on your period because it does help with those you know cramps migraines headaches any of those things you might get so we want to continue that even after our period of course to stay hydrated and i'm going to take my vitamins <laughs> Okay, so disclaimer for sure, <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but these are all my vitamins that I do take. Um, I want to say pretty much regularly. So the first one here we have are BH Essentials. And just like it says on the bottle, it is for your feminine health, so it is going to help with vaginal and urinary as well as gut. So it's a three-in-one. I love that for me. Next up, we have Chlorofresh. It's an internal deodorizer. So, of course, if your inside smell good, your outside's gonna smell good, right? Next, we have ash Ashwagandha, Maca, and Fenugreek. Um, it's a three-in-one as well. It helps with stress, mood, and even help balance our hormonal levels. So, this one I take because it does help with my energy as well as my mood. Um, then we have our vitamin D3 and iron because we definitely want to replenish our red blood cells, help with our strong bones and teeth. I'm really taking this one because my doctor told me it'll help with my varicose veins. <laughs> Next up we have fish oil. Of course it speaks for itself. It's going to promote brain health and it's vital for our heart and it's also an anti-inflammatory. Okay, next up we have glutamine. Um, I know you guys have been seeing this all over TikTok. The girl has been doing like some powder or water, but I take it in the pill. It just helps with your gut health and also muscles. Now we have evening primrose. Of course, this is going to help with our PMS symptoms and our skin health. And lastly, we have our multivitamin. You know, overall health has vitamin A, zinc, B12. It does say morning, but <laughs> I ran out of the night, so it'll do okay so off we go i'm gonna take my water with me because i'm gonna be drinking on it throughout the time because later tonight we finna drink some wine unwind so i'm gonna light a candle you know me i would have showered in the dark but for video purposes but we gotta get into all the vibes <laughs> Here's our product lineup. We're pretty much gonna be using everything you see here. The only thing I didn't use was exfoliating gloves. I kind of forgot I had them, but I do usually like to use them. First up, we going in with our base soap. We finna get clean. Squeaky Dub Clean. I was gonna squeak, squeaky deaky, but you know what I mean. So I use the antibacterial because I feel like it just gives me like a real, real a deep clean, get rid of any bacteria. We just trying to get a whole refresh after, you know, homegirl done came through and gave us hell but no i actually really do like this as my day soap just because it does do a really good job of cleaning as well as still moisturizing my body after we do the base cleaning i do like to go ahead and exfoliate before i shave yes we're gonna be shaving i know you saw those legs ew disgusting but um i just gotta wax so we don't have to worry about girly downstairs she's right but i actually don't shave or do anything while i'm on my period besides i actually did shave my underarms or i guess you could say wax it's growing back a little bit but we're not gonna get into that but do you see that scrub it is so thick and like a little goes a long way i really really love this scrub this scrub though i don't know it's the s-h-i-t you better get you some Now, when it comes to shaving, I do use this body conditioner. I used to use like EOS or EOS body cream, shaving cream, whatever. And now I've been using this. I feel like it just gives like an extra barrier as well as like added moisture while shaving. I know this kind of like scary the up and down motions, but I seen it on TikTok and I was like, let me give it a try. And like, it makes it so much easier. So we're layering products. I'm going in with the same line, the Water Lily and Sea Salt. It gives this renewing, refreshing scent since it's infused with shea butter. It also does help with hydration. It is a moisturizing cream body wash, but it does like foam up pretty well. And I really love this. 
I talked about this little foot sponge before, so if you're not new here, I did mention it that you can get these from Amazon, and I love the fact that you just add water and they foam up and suds up, and they do exfoliate as well as moisturize your feet and clean. So it's like all in one. 10 out of 10, game changer. <laughs> so now we have our L foam wash. I know it's like on the VH Essentials, but I tried this. They have a period care line, and I was in love. Like it's very sensitive and it foams up real nice. Okay, now. To the basics, CeraVe, CeraVe. I use this hydrating facial cleanser at this moment because my skin's been super, super, super dry, and I don't know what to use at this point. So it's been doing what it needs to do as far as keeping my face moisturized for the most part. I'm stuck on the fact that it actually feels like you're putting like a lotion on your face when you're washing, so it doesn't feel like as stripping and drying. And of course, to dry my face, I've been using these little face towels. I think it's called like Clean face club it's on amazon but they're like these little towelettes and they're like they're very soft and they don't cause too much friction on your face and i just think it's cleaner you know to use this aside from your towel that you use on your body um i'm just gonna go in i love this arm and hammer advanced care um toothpaste line it does a really clean job so i'm just you know brushing my teeth after a long day and i'm about to put in my invisalign and get right I did do a little tongue scraping, tongue cleaning, and you know, took care of the whole oral shilling. You guys are going to see my nails done in the next couple of clips of the products I used that night because when I recorded them, it was horrible quality when I went to edit. So I just redid it later that week. These are the products I used. So first I went in with the witch hazel on a cotton pad, wiped our butt, got rid of any bacteria, any odor that may be lingering around. Just continuing with the body care um, is glycolic acid by The Ordinary. I use this stain on a cotton pad and I just wipe under my arms. I'm glad I came across this because it does help produce um, like dark spots and help like lightening under your arms as well as prevent ingrowns. Um, we have next up is our Loom Whole Body Reordering. It goes on like lotion, so I love that. And you really don't need a lot because it is pretty thick. And I love the fact that you can use this anywhere under your arms, um, between your thighs, underneath your boobs, and it just prevents body odor. This is the sweet cookie oil. As you can see, I've been using this like crazy. I need to get another one. Um, but since I just got a wax today, I'm not going to put anything down there. I'm just going to moisturize it. Um, it has like a little citrusy smell. Usually I would use like the PFB vanish, I think it is, or PBF vanish, just to help with like income, but I'll do that tomorrow, not the first day of my wax. Right now, I just need my little curly just to, you know, chill out, hang out. <laughs> okay, so first up, I got a couple products. I'm not using all of them, of course, and you guys don't have to use this, but these are just a couple things that I do, you know, tend to kind of go to. So the first one up is this PHD, like a boric acid rinse. And it kind of reminds me of like a douche back in the days. Mm, I don't know, I feel like that, but I did try it once just to see. And it's just like a quick like little rinse out. And typically, this is the one I actually am going to be using tonight. It's just the order eliminating gel. I do like this one over everything else that you see just because it doesn't have like the boric acid. I feel like this one's a little bit more safer because it doesn't have like the side effects or long term effects of using like boric acid all the time which is something you're not supposed to do so that's why i kind of like straight away from those and use this one it's just like a little gel that you kind of just put up there and it just kind of helps to get rid of any bacteria any smell that may be lingering and this is my number one chef's kiss i love this <laughs> Now these two, these are kind of just like some follow-ups just to kind of help with your pH balance. One's a prebiotic, the other one's a probiotic. They're both suppositories. And the first one is by VH Essentials, which is my go-to brand. Um, you do just put it in like a little um, applicator and you just kind of, you know, oop, pop it up there. It's a suppository so you don't take this by the mouth. Um, you put it up there. The only thing I don't like about these is that they do run back. Out of you so I do recommend putting like a panty liner or a light pad and I do believe the reason why I don't really use these this, this often is just because like you're not supposed to have sex afterwards so these are like something you'll use if you know you know you're not gonna be doing anything and of course we're gonna put on something cute make us feel you know like our normal selves to get back into the mood 
And then I'm gonna go in and do a little face mask. This is my first time I should be doing a face mask. <laughs> I've just been seeing them and I'm like, let me do a little um, extra hydration or put a little extra hydration back into my skin because like I said, I've been struggling with like really, really dry skin on my face at least and it's something new. So my um, esthetician recommended this when she did my facial. If you guys see me talking, I'm just like singing some songs that I was listening to and yeah, we're going to put this on. We're going to let this sit as we take care of the rest of our body care needs for the night. Secrets, so I'm not gonna lie, is really just their beauty care line. I'm not a big fan of like their panties and bras, but this brand, the Water Lily and Sea Salt, is so refreshing. It really makes me feel all renewed after going through it with my period. It goes all really thick, and I feel like this scent really does last because I'll wake up and I'll still smell it, and it's just, mmm, I love it. I love it. Love it. Definitely gotta try it. Do y'all see how uneven my skin is? You can tell I wear t-shirts a lot. It's crazy that I actually stay in Florida and I don't take advantage of the sun. But we ought to go ahead and spray ourselves, smell good, get into the vibes. <laughs> The face mask, it's been sitting doing its thing for like the last 10 minutes or so. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take it off and just rub in any of the excess left over. Just to kind of keep any, you know, moisture I can lock that in before going back on top of that with my actual moisturizer. I've been trying this new brand Burst. It's their Skin Soak Moisture Cream. And um, I don't, I don't want to say I love it. I don't want to say I don't like it. But it actually does keep my face pretty hydrated I want to say because I wake up the next morning and my face doesn't feel dry nor look so dry so I guess that's a good thing I just started using, using this maybe like a week ago so I'll keep you guys updated if any of you guys use it let me know in the comments below I actually seen it on TikTok so I was like let me just give it a try you know at anything at this point right now just to bring it back to life um and now we're just gonna go ahead and take my hair down, just kind of fix it up a little bit. It kind of poofed up a little while I was in the shower, so I'm just gonna run our fingers through just to smooth that out. And then we're just gonna get ready to get in bed at this point because I pretty much did my little self care. I feel good, I feel renewed. Um, I'm ready to get back into it, feel like myself. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put on my bonnet. I'm not gonna like really put my hair up or anything. I'm just gonna put the bonnet over it. This is just something I just threw on my head anyways. So it's not like I'm trying to preserve it long term. And that's a wrap. That's pretty much everything I do after my period, just to reset and get back to myself. A little self care, you know, because a long way after going through hell with my period. Um, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and head to the kitchen. You know me, I'm about to pour up online, get right, and I'm going to hop in bed, binge watch my favorite show, which is your honor at this time. Definitely give me a big thumbs up. Thank you guys again for watching today's video. Comment down below any of the products you like or you need, any tips or tricks, and make sure you subscribe. See you guys next time. <laughs>